want to tune without spending a ton of money? Nope, there's no reason to spend thousands of dollars on an aftermarket ECU when you can make your own. If you're eager to learn how to tune and take control of your car's engine, then hit the subscribe button. Join me on this affordable journey to unlock your engine's full potential. Get ready to level up your engine tuning skills. In this video, we'll demystify the world of engine control. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a clear understanding of Arduino and how to install Speedwino firmware and connect to Tuner Studio. Stay tuned as we walk you through each step and give you a sneak peek of what's to come. So what is Arduino? Arduino is a versatile open source electronics platform. It encompasses both hardware and software. This is an AT2560 Mega. The 2560 refers to the processor. So you write C code in the Arduino IDE or Integrated Development Environment, then upload your code to the Arduino microcontroller, in our case, this AT Mega. Now that we have a clear understanding of what Arduino is, what's a Speedwino? Speedwino is an open source engine control unit. It was created by Josh Stewart. The Speedwino gets connected to your injectors, your spark system, fuel system, and all the sensors of your engine. It meters this information and sends it to the 2560 processor along with the code on your Arduino microcontroller. And with their powers combined, you get a fully functioning engine control unit. The best part is you can use Tuner Studio to interface with your Speedwino ECU. Before we jump into it, I just wanted you to know that all the information that I'm sharing with you comes from the Speedwino manual. So you can go ahead and read that yourself. It's at speedwino.com slash speedwino underscore manual PDF. It's going to have a lot of useful information. We're not going to cover everything. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is download the Speedwino code itself. So let's navigate to speedwino.com slash home, click this little GitHub icon, and that will take you to the GitHub repository. So what you're gonna wanna do is click release, and then download source code. Once you download it, it'll be in a zipped file. Uh, go ahead and unzip that to your desired location. Mine's on the desktop here. Now that we have the Speedwino code, let's go ahead and get the Arduino IDE. Navigate to arduino.cc slash en slash software. And then you can go ahead and download the version you need. We're also going to want to download Tuner Studio. This is at tunerstudio.com slash index.php slash downloads. So I'm going to grab the Tuner Studio 3.1 and also the log viewer. Feel free to pause the video and get that stuff downloaded. Once you have everything downloaded and you're ready to get going, Click the Arduino IDE. It could take a second for your I Arduino IDE to load, especially if it's the first time. <laughs> Go ahead and take your Arduino and plug it into your computer. You're going to see this little connection drop down. If you don't see the Arduino, then likely you're missing the USB drivers. And to get those, the easiest way is to go to SparkFun's website and download the driver, the CH350 driver. Now that you have your Arduino IDE and it, you're showing that it's connected, you're gonna wanna go to File, Open, and navigate to the directory that your code, that your Speedwino code is. So you see ours is gonna be in here, Speedwino-202310. And then there is a Speedwino folder, and you want to find the Speedwino INO file. So this one right here, hit open. And what it should do is open up, and if you, we already had it open, but for you, it should open up a new window with a lot of different files in it. If you only have the Speedwino.ino file, then there's something wrong, so you need to reopen it and ensure that all of these files open at the same time. Now that you have that set up, you want to verify your code by clicking verify. This is going to compile it and make sure there's no errors. So this is the actual code. We can go in here and mess with it. No, we're not going to 
went to right now, but <laughs> uh, you should have a clear. And then go ahead and upload. And then that's actually uploading the code to your Arduino. Okay, now that we've finished uploading, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Tuner Studio. Before we get into Tuner Studio, let's get the base map downloaded. All right, let's navigate to speedduino.com and get the base map. From here, you go to support, downloads, and we wanna download this speedy loader. Once you have speedy loader downloaded, go ahead and uh, double click it. We want to select base tune, then go to speedduino generic base tune, download tune, this warning here is letting us know that base tunes are only supposed to be used for starting points, and that's what we're doing. We're just using this to get the firmware onto our Arduino. You're going to want to download it to your Speedduino folder under the references, and then just in here. That's all you need that for. Now it's time to go ahead and open up Tuner Studio. Click create new project, name your project, you want to click firmware, click other browse, navigate to your Speedduino project, Speedduino INI, that links the firmware, click next. You can also just click next here. And then this screen is uh, asking you which COM port your Arduino is on. To find that information, go to your Arduino IDE and click down this drop down. You see here, our Arduino Mega is on COM7. So now we just select here COM port 7. Click next. All right, and then we want to hit finish. Okay, and then we just want to go to load tune. Locate your base tune that you had downloaded. Right there, open, yes. Congratulations, we have our environment set up. This is just the beginning. From here we have to hook up the Arduino to the Speedduino and start wiring up our sensors. I hope you enjoyed this. If you learned something, please hit the like button and I will see you in the next one.